Hey, this is RJ May, and you're watching Mr. Mario 2011. Hey, what is going on everyone? It is me, Mr. Mario, and you know, I just felt like doing a commentary about this. I almost made, you know, an actual video with myself on camera and everything, and I'm like, yeah, you know what? No, I just feel like hooking up the mic. I'll throw some gameplay up and hope you all enjoy it. But anyways, I kind of just want to talk to you all about what's been going on. In case you don't know, I've posted a few videos about it. I've mentioned it here and there. I even had an apar apartment overview, but I've moved temporarily. Uh, in short, I'm currently doing an IT-related internship up in Illinois, and I moved from Kansas to Illinois for three weeks. So I'm going to be coming back in August, and I'm probably not going to be back going back to Kansas until August. Now, it's pretty big because it's like first off, this is my first big, this is my first internship ever. This is the first time I've actually you know worked for a big company, having you know a true nine to five. Even though it's actually it's it's eight to four thirty, so it's slightly different. Whatever it is, <laughs> or eight to five, I don't know. No, my my hours are eight to four thirty, but I'm trying to think of what people call these, but. You know, it, it was a lot of firsts going on, and one big thing is, it was my first time having roommates, and no one, I, I was going to know no one coming here, except for the people I talked to, you know, my supervisor and HR, like, that was it, it was going to be crazy, but man, how has it been? So far, I've been here for over a week, while I'm doing this commentary, and if you asked me one week ago, exactly, yeah, if you asked me exactly one week ago, what I thought, I probably would have been, eh, I don't know, it's okay, I guess I'll get used to it, I'm only going to be here temporarily, but now, <laughs> it's completely turned around, it really has, like first off, right now I'm currently in my training, so I haven't actually worked, I'm more doing observations, that's my observational training for what I'm doing, and I'm going to be switching up what I do every few weeks, which I have no issue with that. I enjoy it. I love what I'm doing already. But one big thing was getting to know people. Like, first off, as I said, I don't have an issue living with roommates. I don't. As long as I'm cool with them, they're cool with me, it all works out. And I've had, you know, extended trial runs, I like to call them, of staying with friends for a long period of time. But I've never actually had a roommate. Uh, I went from living with my parents to living alone. And I've lived alone since July of 2012. Uh, up until now, you know, like right now I'm recording this in May, so I didn't have roommates at all until May of 2014. And uh, I am I have roommates just due to the fact that I'm staying in a place that is being paid for by the company and all that. And I'm going to stay here, and I'm, I like the place, I really do. Uh, I even like the town, which I've been surprised with. The town, it's, it's a small town, but there's other towns that are close to it. Like before, I said in a video that this town has no Best Buy. Well, there is a Best Buy... If, if I get in my car right now and drive about 10 or 15 minutes, I can go to another town that feels exactly like the town I'm in right now, and they have a Best Buy, they have all the big stores, so I'm set, and like a 10 or 15 minute drive, that's, that's about how much I would be driving to get to my Walmart or Best Buy back in Kansas, so... <laughs> the funny thing is, also, since I'm going from Kansas to Illinois and since I'm still in the Midwest, even now it hasn't really kicked in that I've left. And the reason why I say that is because, first off, I was living in Kansas alone. My parents actually moved away, and I wanted to stay back, so it's not like my parents are back home. My mom lives an hour away from me in Kansas, but, you know, I was staying uh, with my dad and everyone there. And, <laughs> you know, they're the ones that left. I decided to stay back, so it's not like, you know, I had that gap. It's not like I'm saying, oh yeah, you know, I'm going to miss my family or not, which I do miss my family, but I'm already used to my family being gone. I'm already used to visiting my family. So if anything, it's actually easier. My family visited me recently uh, and it was easier for them to come out here than it was to go out to Kansas from where they are. <laughs> So, it's funny how that works out. And then with friends, you know, I've been able to stay connected through texting, through, you know, Facebook, Skype, you know, whatever it is. I've been able to talk to them, which has been great. But one big thing has been getting to know people. 
Now, I'm happy it only took me a few days, but this is the big predicament I had, you all, alright? First off, my roommates are awesome, but I have three roommates. Two of them, you know, they're, they're athletes and whatnot. I'm obviously not an athletic person. I'm not, you know, the biggest guy ever. Like, I'm not super fat, but at the same time, I'm not super skinny or ripped or anything either. I enjoy my video games. I like doing stuff on the computer, and I'm not too big into partying. Now... I mean, I'll party here from time to time, but there's people that will go hard at it, especially, you know, over in this area on occasion. Um, just because, you know, you throw a bunch of college students together, that's what's going to happen. It happens. Same thing as in, you know, dorm life that you're going to deal with. But even with all of that, uh, one big thing was I was just like, you know, I'm not I'm not sure if I'm going to fit in. And it felt like, you know, that elementary school stuff again, just because, you know, I was around everyone I was seeing you know, they were real into drinking and whatnot. Like, that, that's my main thing by what I mean by partying. I'm not a big drinker. I'm not a fan of alcohol. I'm not. I'm just not into it. <laughs> Can't really explain it. I just, it, alcohol is there, and I, I have no need for it. Nothing. So, that's what it is. But anyways, I was worried I wouldn't really get too along with my roommates. But found other people that I got along with. It's been great. And, you know, because of the company I'm working for, because of all the stuff that's available to us, all the amenities, all the things they put us through, you know, all the networking and whatnot, it's been real nice just having all that. And I was able to meet other people because my logic was this. Damn it, I'm in IT. I got to meet other people who, you know, are into video games and whatnot. And, you know, after like two or three days, I started meeting other people And, you know, we start hanging out a little bit, and they're into video games, and they're into these new consoles, and they... I just had a friend over, actually, a new friend of mine, who was coming over because he wanted to try Titanfall. He'd never tried Titanfall. He'd never even seen the next-gen systems until he came into my room, and he got to give it a shot. One big thing with all this, I know this sounds so convoluted, but I'm just putting everything out there because I'm just excited about it all, but one thing that's really helped has just been, you know, putting myself into uncomfortable positions it, that sounds a lot worse than what it is but what i mean by that is go out of your comfort zone a little bit and see what you could do because i see people here they just want to stay in their comfort zone and that's it and that's everywhere too you know even back at home people want to do that but like i myself get out of there a little bit get out of your comfort zone even if you don't like it it's something you experience and if you do like it it's something new but you know one thing is like getting to know new people and whatnot I've gotten to talk to new people everywhere. I've gotten to, you know, make connections. And, like, one thing is I've been going crazy, you know, exchanging numbers with people and in addition to exchanging numbers with people, uh, coordinating things as well. You know, if I feel like doing something, I'll be like, hey, who wants to do this? Y'all want to meet up? Just things like that. We all live door to door next door to each other. So sometimes we'll just knock on each other's doors and be all like, hey, you doing anything? Want to hang out? That's how it works. Meet new neighbors that way. Meet new friends that way. It's just, it's, it's been awesome. Now, if I was here, you know, all alone, uh, my own place and whatnot, and I found, you know, an apartment building somewhere, probably wouldn't be able to get anything like that. Just due to the fact that it would feel kind of disconnected. But because of the way my company does this, they have us all in the same area, and it's really nice with that. Now, there are some people in town that are interning. They live in town, and they're living, you know, off the site they're mostly living with their parents and it's harder to get a hold of them because you know they're not in this close vicinity they're not in a close proximity to all of us so because that we don't even try like i'll try to invite people but exclusion just kind of happens because you know it's a bit more inconvenient for them but like over here you know tonight for example um i went over to work out i was actually supposed to meet up with a friend of mine to work out the one i played titanfall with but he couldn't make it. He actually made it, but then forgot his shoes. So he was going to wear his dress shoes. He's like, you know what? No, I'm not doing this. But he invited me. He said, you know what? After you work out, let's go somewhere to eat. I went out to eat with him and two other people. We played some pool. Then him and I came back, played some Titanfall. He just left. You know, random stuff like that going on. <laughs> it's all been fun seeing it. It really has. So this this commentary might seem a bit diluted and I'm just, this kind of just me freestyling into the mic a little bit without a beat and without trying to rap, but man, it's just been awesome. 
I don't know. Also, YouTube has kind of given me this little outlet as well. So I thank you all. If you're listening, thank you for listening. But, you know, that's how it's been. That's been a little update. This more of an update video, update commentary, if anything. But that's how this whole experience has been so far. I might make more videos like this if people want me to. Let me know if you want me to make more videos like this. And I'm still getting everything situated right now. Like, for example, while I've been recording this, I could hear my roommates come in. I've closed the doors and everything. But because of that, you know, I'm trying not to talk too loud. So I've been adjusting, you know, the audio volume. Thankfully, surprisingly enough, with my mic and with the area I'm in, I actually like this audio recording setup more than my setup at home. It doesn't seem to be as sensitive and it doesn't seem to echo as much. And my audio recordings sound cleaner. At least to me, they sound cleaner. I don't know how it is for you all, but for me, I'm noticing they sound cleaner. But with all that, at the same time, I kind of have to be conscious of sound just because I'm sharing an apartment with three other people. I'm not, you know, in an apartment alone where I can yell and do whatever I want to within reason because, you know, there are not laws, but, you know, there are audio levels and rules that you have to obey. <laughs> but yeah, you all, that's been it. <laughs> It's been fun, it really has. So uh, I can't wait to see what the rest of summer has in store. And you know, things have been going on. Like one thing as well, you know, this probably be one of the last things. But uh, I have a workout buddy now. Uh, compared to where I used to live, I was like a five minute walk away from my local gym. Now I'm about a ten minute drive away, and I'm trying to go every day because my job is compared to what it was in Kansas. I would walk to campus, walk around campus, walk back walk to the gym later, work out, walk back. I rarely use my car. Over here, I use my car to get around town. And then with all of that, yeah, because it's too far to walk. It's kind of too far to walk in reason. But with all of that, the big thing is I just sit down mostly and I barely sweat throughout the day because the AC is great. So my, <laughs> my goal right now is I, I'm probably, I know I'm probably going to gain a little bit of weight here. But I still want to go back to Kansas, you know, in decent shape, at least. And I think that will help out a little bit because I mostly do cardio stuff and I've actually been working harder at the gym to compensate for me just sitting around all day. I've started working harder at the gym. But even with that, I feel like, you know, I'm still going to gain some weight with all that. So it's been fun. But yeah, now I have a workout buddy. The reason why I said that is because normally I just work out alone, but he was wanting someone to lift with. And he's one to get back into. And I'm like, you know what? I've been wanting to lift for a bit. So hell with it. I'll go ahead, do it. And if I have somebody meeting me there, meeting me after work, I'm going to have motivation to go there every day to make that 10 minute drive, you know, but that's been it. I don't want to make this go on for too long, but that's been this update of, you know, how the move has been, what's been going on and how the social life has been really. Anyways, this is Mr. Mario signing off. Thank you for watching everyone. <laughs> <laughs>